Have you ever had issues with CV bolts backing out? Well, I was able to just buy a whole bunch of bolts with uh, drilled heads, a hole drilled through the head here for safety wire. I got them from drilledheadbolts.com. Uh, they have a whole bunch of uh, metric and SAE bolts, uh, hex head, uh, Allen key head, all sorts of different stuff. But anyways, these are the ones that work best for my application. So I'm putting them in, and the next step is to torque them to 32 foot-pounds. All right, to safety wire these, I'm going to safety wire two bolts next to each other as pairs. So I'm going to safety wire this pair, and then I'll do that pair, and then that pair. And, you know, the bolts want to unscrew looking at the head counterclockwise, right? So I want to have my safety wire trying to pull the bolt in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to put the safety wire through the holes, twist it up, it's going to wrap around clockwise, and then it's going to make an S turn so it comes around the, the back side of this one, so it's also putting a clockwise tension on the second bolt, because again, it's going to want to unscrew counterclockwise as well. So I start by taking a um, about 12 inches of safety wire, and I'm going to thread it through the first bolt. And this one's close to the, uh, the way the hole is. It's a little close. I'm going to give the safety wire a little bit of a bend on the tip here to try to get it to to feed through a little better. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can get it through. There it goes. And I can actually grab onto it with the, the safety wire pliers and help pull it through there. So I'm gonna pull it through so it's about even, so I have about, you know, the same length of wire on both sides. Let's see if I can put more. That, that should be about okay. And then I'm going to just wrap it around in the direction that I want it to go and bring it to the other bolt in the direction I want to go. And I'm, you know, I'm going to try to feed it through from that, that upper hole through once it's twisted. So I'm going to use a Sharpie and I'm going to mark about an eighth of an inch past the hole where it's going to go in. So that's this, uh, this little black mark on the on the safety wire. So that's where I'm going to grab the safety wire with the pliers when I twist. So I'm going to grab them right there, lock the safety pliers down, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist it up. Twist it up so it's pretty, you know, tight, tight twist. And then if I've measured right and done it right, this should line up right about with the, the hole that's going through, which it does. So I'm going to take one of these wires, that'll be this one, and let's see if I can feed this through that hole. And it's a little tight, so I'm going to need a screwdriver to help kind of poke it in or get it started. I think I got it started. Let's see if I can get a little bit through, there we go. Grab it, and then pull tight so that that safety wire is locked into place. Bring the other one around the outside of the bolt. Wrap them with the pliers. Give them a twist here. Making sure that it goes all the way around the head of the bolt. Put a nice twist on it. And then now I'm ready to uh, cut the tail off. Then I'm going to uh, just bend that, that pointy tip back a little bit so it doesn't poke anybody and makes it nice and neat. So there we go.
So there you have it. One CV joint, all safety wired together. So now I have no concerns about it coming loose on the track. And if you ever have to take it off, just use cutters, cut the safety wire, and then you can unscrew the bolts.